So in this video I want to cover something in the UVW unwrap window uh, that could help you with mapping. In this object this is a bunch of support polys for a grandstand object. It uh, doesn't matter what type of object you're using you may run into a, a task where you have to repeat the mapping or you want to have basically the same mapping across a bunch of different polygons. Um, in this particular case I'm going to have different mapping on some of these but uh, doing these repetitive tasks, um, I'll go ahead and open the UVW window here, and I'll make this smaller so we can see everything. So you can see I've got this one highlighted here, I've just applied a quick planar map to it, uh, over here in this window, um, you can see how that works. So what I would do is I'd flip horizontal. I found better results using flip versus mirror. Mirror tends to mess things up a little bit for me. Um, don't know, you know, different results for different projects or different uh, applications there. So I've got the filter uh, display only selected faces on. You can see the rest of the mapping for this object um, can get in the way uh, using the grid snap function there. I tend to work with only two faces at a time when I'm trying to snap things together. It gets rid of all the other faces. And that's this little uh, red triangle with a light bulb on it down here at the bottom. So it turns off the other faces. You can see there I've only got the ones that I have selected there. Uh, I go to the vert selection in the UV UVW window. I've got grid snapping turned on. Let me zoom in a little bit here so it's more clear for the video. If I click on that vert and I wait for this red box to appear, there, depending on where I click the left mouse button inside of this red box is depending on how it's going to respond. You can see it starts doing some crazy things there. Trying to snap to both the uh, grid in the window and the grid on faces that aren't uh, being used. So it's trying to figure out what you're doing there. Um, I find it better to uh, do it this way, so in here I just left click, and I'm holding left click the whole time. It's still doing weird things, but I'm never letting go. I'm never waiting for that red box to appear. Um, and it's easy to do that, easy to select those verts if you have the faces uh, filtered. So I can grab, let's say, this one here. Now this doesn't solve the problem of it jumping all over the screen but it will continue until I get down to where I want to put it and then it snaps to the one where I wanted to snap it. I'm going to do that again. So I'm left clicking, I'm holding left click, I'm never letting go of it until I get to right where I want it to snap to. If I wait for that red box to appear, it can kind of mess you up. There's some different tools inside that red box. I don't know what they are. Uh, it's always been an annoyance to me, but uh, you can see how fast I can do that. Um, let me redo that there, so hopefully that makes sense. It, it is going to jump all over the screen, but as long as I move my mouse from where it originally was without the red box, I grab it and I move my mouse straight to where I want it to go, it will snap right there where I want it to snap. So um, Hopefully that helps you use this window a little bit easier. Um, hopefully it comes across clearly. I've got all the tools over here in the um, preview pane or the uh, video so you can see what I'm doing but I'm holding that left mouse button never let go of it until I get to the destination where I want it to be. If you're doing the drag selection I've got two verts selected right there. Uh, you should be able to see that on here so I've got those two. don't like drag selecting even when I've got filtered faces on as long as I left click and hold it's snapped to my mouse and even though it may jump around a little bit trying to snap itself somewhere else as long as I'm holding the mouse button it will continue to follow my mouse cursor until I get to the destination where I want it to go um, I know it's really difficult to to show but play around with that a little bit um, holding the mouse button um, clicking and dragging instead of click then dragging may get different results that time it worked right 
You see here now it's not snapping at all for some reason. So if you click, now if I had two faces on top of each other, let's say for example, I wanted to edit, I have these two faces selected here, but I, I don't want to select both. Or I've got multiple selected here and I want to work on just one. You can see now I'm affecting all of them. I don't want to do that. That's where that filter selected faces comes in. Click that face. Now I'm only working on... I can still do it that way, but I would rather do it this way where I'm left click and hold before that red box appears. That red box will really frustrate you um, if you let it so working in this window, making sure you're, you're on the polygon that you want to work on, make sure you're filtering. And I'm constantly clicking this on and off um, when I'm mapping something. So just another tool, set of tools that you can use. Uh, different process uh, with the um, left click hold the button. Don't wait for that red box to appear. Um, so that's uh, another helpful hint there. All right, thanks for watching.